history lesson on the performance of Bristol schools over the last decades would show a local authority struggling. But in the last 10 years, there's been a steady improvement, according to a new report by Ofsted. It comes as an increasing number of state schools are run by academies. Alex has been taking a look at what's changed. Well, 10 years ago, Bristol was shamed as being the worst area in the country for GCSE results. It came bottom of the class in the national league tables with failing schools accused of failing its pupils. 10 years on, the city appears to be improving. According to the latest school report by Ofsted, 9 out of 10 pupils in the city now go to a good or outstanding school. And in a new type of rating, Bristol's been ranked just outside the top 20. Martin Jones explains what's changed. A decade ago, Points West asked why Bristol schools were doing so badly and so many parents bust their kids to schools elsewhere. The former chief inspector of schools was always damning about Bristol. So you're seriously suggesting that all Bristol state schools should be privatised? Yes, I think that the evidence to date is that the usual democratic procedures, the local education authority, has failed the people of Bristol. But since then, every secondary school in Bristol has been totally or partially rebuilt. The former Speedwell School was reborn as Bristol Brunel Academy nine years ago. Its results improved dramatically. I think we're, we're very fortunate here. We have a, a state-of-the-art building. Uh, for me, the, the big thing is this, the value for the students. Students come here every day and they realise that actually this wonderful building is built purposely for them to deliver an outstanding education and they really value that. But it's not down to bricks and mortar alone. As an academy, Brunel is no longer run by the city council. It's part of a group of 13 schools sharing expertise, support and leadership. They claim that attracts better teachers and better leaders. I think we've, we've been part now of the, the Cabot Learning Federation since we began nine years ago. And that, for me, has been the biggest turning point. Uh, so we were previously a failing school, and now we're having success across the board by being able to work in collaboration with local schools in Bristol and South Gloss to improve the quality of education we can provide for our youngsters. Impressive and innovative buildings have made a big difference. Schools working together in groups has made a big difference. But as well as that, Bristol is one of the first places to see private schools coming into the state sector. Prestigious schools offering a free education and boosting pass rates. But those, like so many others, opted out of council control. Does the local authority admit it got things wrong? We see ourselves as a local authority as one of the leaders in the city. We're not in charge, uh, we're not dictatorial, but we're working in partnership with the leaders of academies and maintained schools to, uh, to do what's best for Bristol children. And for me, that's, that's a really strong role for the local authority. Some also credit Bristol's diverse cultural mix for changing attitudes to education. Whatever the case, everyone wishes to see results continue to improve. Martin Jones, BBC Points West, Bristol.